On January 18, 1915, six months into the First World War, as all Europe was convulsed by killing and dying, Virginia Woolf wrote in her journal, The future is dark, which is on the whole the best thing the future can be, I think. Dark, she seems to say, as in inscrutable, not as in terrible. We often mistake the one for the other, or we transform the future's unknowability into something certain, the fulfillment of all our dread, the place beyond which there is no way forward. But again and again, far stranger things happen than the end of the world. Who two decades ago could have imagined a world in which the Soviet Union had vanished and the Internet had arrived? Who then dreamed that the political prisoner Nelson Mandela would become president of a transformed South Africa? Who foresaw the resurgence of the indigenous world, of which the Zapatista uprising in southern Mexico is only the most visible face? Who four decades ago could have conceived of the changed status of all who are non-white, non-male or non-straight, the wide-open conversations about power, nature, economies, and ecologies? Hope for me is deeply tied to the fact that we don't know what will happen. This gives us grounds to act. And the Trump administration is such an amplifier of uncertainty. The future is not yet written. What the story is depends on what we make it. And that's really what I'm here to say. (laughs) 